What if I told you Toyota just did what no other car company could they've revealed a next-gen aluminum ion battery that delivers a jaw-dropping 1,000-mile range and can fully charge in just 5 minutes let that sink in no more range anxiety no. More waiting hours at charging stations no more excuses at a surprise press event in Tokyo Toyota dropped a bombshell that stunned. The entire EV industry CEOs from Tesla GM and BYD were reportedly in the room and the look on their faces was speechless. Because this isn't just a step forward it's a leap that may sideline lithium-ion entirely it's fireproof lighter non-toxic and doesn't rely on rare earths this is the breakthrough the world has been waiting for and it didn't come from Silicon Valley this time it came from Japan so before this video dives into how Toyota pulled it off and what it means for Tesla for gas cars and maybe even for oil itself make sure to smash that like button hit subscribe and turn on notifications this isn't just a story about electric cars it's the start of a global energy war and you're watching it unfold right now they said lithium was the future that solid state was the final frontier but Toyota just broke the silence with a five minute press event that left the EV world in total chaos no teaser no leaks just raw specs on a screen 1000 mile range full charge in five minutes zero lithium. Zero Cobalt at first people thought it was a joke a marketing stunt but what Toyota showed wasn't concept art it was a functioning aluminum ion prototype backed by third party validation peak charging speed over 1200 kilowatt cycle life over 10,000 full charges with less than 5% degradation thermal stability tested up to 250 degrees celsius without a single failure industry insiders scrambled this wasn't a marginal improvement over tesla's 40 680 cells it was four times faster lighter and non-flammable it didn't need cobalt it didn't rely on lithium mines buried under political tension it simply worked cleaner safer and infinitely more scalable and the material behind it aluminum not rare not toxic not buried under Monopolized territories aluminum is the third most abundant element on earth and it's already mined traded and recycled. Globally Toyota didn't just improve EV batteries they detonated the entire supply chain map here's the shocker the charge. Capacity isn't a theoretical dream it's been field tested lab tested and fast tracked for mass production by late 2026 20. Toyota's internal road. Map now includes aluminum ion in at least eight vehicle platforms and new patents suggest it may even scale to home energy and aviation so what makes this chemistry so different unlike lithium where each ion carries a single charge aluminum ions carry three electrons per ion that's three times the electrical payload in the same space combined with a graphene based cathode these ions move at. Breakneck speed with minimal resistance, no overheating, no runaway, no need for cooling systems or massive buffer zones and while lithium batteries degrade under stress heat fast charging deep discharge aluminum ion cells don't care Toyotas. Prototypes were frozen then superheated crushed punctured short circuited nothing exploded nothing vented gas not even a spark. That kind of stability isn't just safer it's disruptive you can mount these batteries under seats inside doors anywhere in the frame no fear of fire for regulators insurers and fleet operators that changes everything but here's the twist. While the public marveled at the specs insiders panicked over what wasn't said Toyota didn't mention lithium not once no. Comparison no backward compatibility just a cold silent message to every automaker still betting on lithium ion you're now. Behind Tesla BYD GM even CATL all caught off guard supply contracts mining deals billion dollar gigafactories. Suddenly at risk because this new battery doesn't use the same playbook it doesn't need lithium extraction from South America it doesn't require. Cobalt from Congo it doesn't care about geopolitics and the range this wasn't marketing math Toyota's prototype sedan. Completed 1000 miles on a closed track using a single charge while carrying the equivalent payload of a Camry no. 
hypermiling no stripped down test car real world drive real load and real speed the implications are staggering if mass produced at scale this would make current evs obsolete in both cost and performance charging infrastructure would shrink no more waiting 30 minutes highway rest stops would become five minute pit stops just like gas but it's not just the speed it's the chemistry itself aluminum is fireproof non-toxic recyclable at 96 percent efficiency and most importantly it doesn't rely on scarce minerals hoarded by a handful of suppliers that's where lithium begins to crumble for two decades it wasn't just the backbone of clean energy it was a monopoly controlled by a tight cartel of miners processors and middlemen from chile to china but now that grip is slipping between 2020 and 2023 lithium prices didn't just rise they exploded a 400 percent spike triggered panic ev giants scrambled to lock in supply deals worth billions deals that are now aging like milk and toyota they didn't just sidestep the chaos they dismantled the system with aluminum they pulled the pin from a very fragile grenade and that Fragility goes deeper than economics the majority of global lithium reserves are buried under the salt flats of Bolivia, Argentina and Chile. Regions teetering on political chaos nationalizations protests export bans one presidential decree and the EV supply. Chain grinds to dust then there's cobalt quietly essential to most lithium ion chemistries over 70% of the world's. Cobalt comes from the Democratic Republic of Congo where investigative reports continue to expose child labor and armed, militia-run mines. It's the dark secret behind the EV revolution and Toyota just walked away from it aluminum doesn't carry that blood stain it's. Mind globally traded cleanly and recycled almost infinitely Toyota's pivot could reduce lithium demand by 30% in. The next 10 years that's not a forecast that's an economic collapse waiting to happen one that lithium giants are praying doesn't come true but while lithium is cracking oil is panicking the fossil fuel lobby has seen battery hype before but not like. This not with specs that directly outmatch combustion for decades range was the last stronghold of the gas engine but a 1000 mile battery of five minute recharge that's not competition that's a kill shot internal combustion vehicles can't evolve their way out of this an aluminum ion toyota camry would leave even a gas powered lexus in the dust not just in range but in efficiency weight and cost per mile and it's not just the cars the infrastructure itself is shifting gas station chains in japan and California are reportedly considering one megawatt aluminum ion charging docks capable of fully charging a vehicle in less time than it takes to buy a coffee no fumes no fire hazards just raw electricity delivered faster than ever imagined this kind of transition doesn't dent oil it guts it analysts now predict global petroleum demand could drop by 8 million barrels Per day by 2035 if aluminum ion achieves scale that's more than all of Canada's oil exports wiped out not by regulation but by innovation and that innovation isn't coming from Silicon Valley anymore inside Tesla sources say Project Helixon. Emergency aluminum cell R&D Sprint was activated less than 24 hours after Toyota's reveal engineers are being moved off dojo and fsd to focus on battery chemistry full time the threat is real and it's rising fast meanwhile in china catl and byd are scrambling to retain control of a supply chain they thought they owned aluminum cuts them out it erases the leverage they built with lithium dominance their executives are in emergency sessions pushing for patents prototypes anything that could slow toyota's Momentum the U.S. Department of Energy caught Flatfoot has reopened archived aluminum ion research from the early 2010s research it quietly shelved in favor of lithium now those dusty blueprints are being revisited under full lockdown and new patents are being filed at record pace too late maybe but the tech race is no longer about who got there first it's about who.
survives the shift and in Japan the reaction was even more telling media outlets dubbed Toyota's announcement the tech Pearl Harbor. Of the auto world an ambush so precise so disruptive it instantly reshuffled alliances companies that once laughed off Toyota's. Slow EV adoption now crawled back to the table scrambling for licensing deals even Elon Musk never won to play defense tweeted. Just two words after the reveal didn't expect that no context no bravado just silence because deep down he knows. This wasn't a press event this was a declaration of war and the war had already begun behind closed doors venture capitalists. Pulled back overnight terrified by the sudden shift startups once valued in the billions like Lucid and Fisker found their long range. Lithium bets evaporating their technology suddenly looked over engineered over complicated and two years too late the industry's fragile ecosystem was cracking and only the strongest would survive the fallout even legacy giants weren't. Safe Ford GM Volkswagen each had invested heavily in lithium infrastructure billions poured into factories battery. Partnerships supply deals across Chile, Australia and China now every executive boardroom had one question on repeat did we just lose the future to Toyota investors weren't waiting for answers BYD's stock dropped 6% in a single day after. Toyota's aluminum roadmap leaked to media GM's EV division cancelled two product unveiling citing battery strategy, revisions Hyundai and Kia already in talks with Toyota for licensing rights discreet off record but urgent everyone knew what was coming no one wanted to be last to pivot and yet for Toyota this wasn't about first mover advantage it was about total dominance their 20. 26 lineup now included 8 aluminum powered models from city hatchbacks to full sized SUVs each one promised lower. Weight faster charging and ranges that humiliated everything on the market they weren't catching up to Tesla they were leapfrogging the entire field but that leap came with a twist infrastructure current EV networks weren't built for this superchargers CCS. Stations destination plugs they topped out at 350 kilowatt that was fast for lithium but for aluminum ion. It was like trying to funnel a tsunami through a garden hose Toyota's new chemistry demanded megawatt level throughput and so the world's entire charging infrastructure faced an ultimatum upgrade or die power companies station operators and government agencies began. Sketching emergency plans in Tokyo a one-brand pilot station branded quietly under Toyota Energy came online within weeks. Cars charged in five minutes no overheating no lines no waiting and it wasn't alone Japanese convenience store chains already. Connected to the national grid announced plans to retrofit thousands of locations with aluminum fast charge hubs in the US. California-based Chargit filed for permits to convert solar EV hubs into aluminum-compatible mega-sites even Shell yes. Shell was spotted in meetings with Toyota's infrastructure team this wasn't just about faster charging it was about familiarity. Aluminum ion closed the behavior gap between EVs and gas cars 5-minute fill-ups no range anxiety no babysitting your Car with an app timer you park plug grab a snack and leave it was effortless and consumers they didn't need convincing they needed access. Message continues in next response due to length limit.